My name is Greta Stanton. I'm a Principal Office Specialist at the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office Forensic Science Lab. And one question I get a lot is how evidence comes into the lab. Evidence comes into the laboratory through our head of the county agencies making an appointment with us and bringing in any evidence that they want tested in the laboratory, whether that's DNA, latent prints, or firearms. And so once they bring in their evidence, I will make sure it has these um, specific criteria needed to enter the laboratory. And when is, once that is looked at, I will enter it into our computer system and then um, move it throughout the laboratory, whether that's bringing it to the DNA section, latent print, or firearms for testing. Um, and then once testing is all completed, I will then um, return the evidence back to the agency that submitted the evidence. We are able to do this because of the machining and manufacturing that occurs to the firearm when it is being produced. When metal is cut, when it's ground, when it's polished, it's leaving behind unique surfaces. So when those bullets and cartridge cases are fired in the firearm, it's picking up all of those unique surfaces and it allows us to identify that fired piece of evidence back to the gun it was fired from. There's a variety of different types of evidence. We can develop them on almost anything actually. So the most common would be um, non-porous, which just means that things don't soak into the surface, they sit on top. We can also develop on porous or semi-porous items. And we can also develop on anything that's been wet and on the adhesive sides of tape in addition to um, the non-adhesive side or the non-sticky side. We don't have the capacity here, but you can also in the field develop um, plain prints on fabrics if you have the right technology. We really don't have a day-to-day. -day. We often get called to anything from a homicide to theft from auto. We can go from call to call to call to having a day that we don't have any calls and we are doing reports all day. all of the law enforcement agencies throughout Hennepin County and federal agencies like the DEA or the FBI and the types of evidence we get from them um, ranges greatly from any household items to clothing and swabs where they've collected DNA off of different items.